In this video, we're out moonlight ferreting, and on the night, I'm out with a young lad called Ashley. He's a big help. He helps carry the catch and the equipment, helps neck a few rabbits, and does a bit of camera work as well. I also take Missy the point across, and she gets really tangled up in the long net. I have to take the long net to a local field and sort it out before we go ferreting again. And finally, we go rabbiting again, lamping with GT pest control and we managed to spin a few rabbits for the pot. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we've got a fox, and I don't hunt foxes, but I thought I'd try and call it in, see how close I can get it to the camera. And it comes in very, very close. It gets spooked by an horse in the same field. As you can see they're a beautiful creature, this one looks really healthy, um, but they can be a nuisance to farmers as they will kill lambs and chickens, so they do need controlling, but I will leave that to the professionals that do that. Come here. As you can see the infrared filter that Ian Hodge Field Sport Supply sent me for free, works a treat and I couldn't wait to do some nighttime ferreting. By this point in the night we already had a dozen rabbits or so. We ferreted a couple of small warrens and had a couple of rabbits out of those and then we ferreted a really big warren. We could only cover half the warren with a long net and we had about 14 bolts within 10-15 minutes and we caught eight rabbits from that one. Did anyone notice the other two rabbits that bolted behind me? I looked because I could hear them running, but um, I couldn't see them. I thought it might have been the dog. But the net was um, collapsed. Missy had tangled, got tangled up in the net and collapsed the net. I was trying to untangle one of the rabbits, and then both these rabbits escaped. Get you in it, actually. So yeah, we just finished the uh, the final warren. We're on. Uh, we've caught 22 now. Um, bolted six out of this one, didn't we? Yeah. And we caught four in the nets. Two went over the the back of the wall. And uh, Missy had a little chase on them, but they got away. The the rabbits have been bolting dead fast tonight. You literally put your ferret in, and within straight up. Yeah. So we had one dig. So Today I'm going to uh, be taking my long net out and I'm going to try and uh, sort it out. So I was going to bring it on here today and uh, run it out and uh, redo it all. But 
as you can see the sheep on the field so I'm gonna get walking and we are ferreting tomorrow so the last time I used a long net I was a uh, long netting at night time ferreting at night time with Missy and uh, she got tangled up in it a few times so the net got in a real mess this was going to be the next field I was going to use wait get out fucking drinking puddle is probably full of diesel and everything crap from the fire the bed fires on here they burn a car out up here uh, this was going to be the next field but again there's sheep in there so I'm going to have to carry on <laughs> Quite good up here for his. I come in one night, it's been about 15 20 years. Um, tried to retrieve them with the dog, but uh, my shooting's not very good. Oh, oh, it always gets me every time that does, gets me every time. So I'm going to release this and uh, just sort the uh, bagging out. That's the uh, old rubbers that I'm replacing. I might have to leave a few on there because I don't think I've got enough. And plenty of bagging in there as well. I told you there's hairs up here. I've just turned around and seen this one. This run. Not a hair. A hair run. So you put lamp on these fields at night and it's quite a few. This is the next one. So that's how I've done this one. The sun's just uh, setting now. See that? It's kind of a, a hedge. So I've finished. Uh, finished the net. I just noticed I got an hole in the net. I'll try and do that soon. Show you how to do that if you don't know how to do it. Get over.
which is an issue. It's still recorded, it. I'm recording it now. Just know if you'd like to feature in one of my future rabbiting videos and you've got your own permission, then contact me through Instagram. And also remember to share this video, like it, subscribe, and until next time, happy hunting. Bye bye.